Hi everyone, welcome back to part three. Um, so, final step. It says boats need a depth of water, W, uh, to enter the harbour, and they only let them do this if the depth is, uh, is that deep for a continuous period of one hour. Now we saw last time an example of this. Uh, if we look at this interval here, the depth was 8.5, and the depth was at least that much for eight hours between 11 and 19. Now we want to cut that back to be only between uh, a depth, a certain depth for one hour. So that means we're going to have to move this point higher up the graph. So this is one hour only. Now we can see that it's symmetrical around this point here. That point would be at 15 which we already knew from our sketch. Now, if it's a one hour interval, it must start at 14 and a half and finish at 15 and a half at the same depth. In order to find the depth of the water, W, we can substitute the time 14 and a half or 15 and a half into our original equation. So let's do that. The depth of the water was three sine pi over 6 times t plus 10. Now we're going to use, it wouldn't matter if we did 14 and a half or 15 and a half, let's go 14 and a half for time plus 10. Now uh, popping that onto your calculator, you'll soon see, make sure you're in radians, that that comes to a depth of 12.9. Meters, and that's the answer to part C of the question. If the depth is 12.9 meters, then you'll have that depth uh, for one hour, just half an hour either side of high tide, and that would be from 14 and a half hours to 15 and a half hours, or 2:30 in the afternoon until 3:30 in the afternoon. Uh, so the question was asking depth. That's the answer, 12.9. Thanks for watching.